The decision to flee came suddenly. Or maybe not. Maybe I'd planned it all along, subconsciously waiting for the right moment. The bill was a factor, I think, because I had no money to pay for it. Our room service tabs had been running somewhere between $29 and $36 per hour for 48 consecutive hours. Incredible. How could it happen? But by the time I asked this question, there was no one around to answer. That rotten attorney of mine, Dr. Gonzo, was gone. He must have sensed trouble. There was only one road back to L.A., U.S. Interstate 15, just a flat-out high-speed burn through Baker and Barstow and Purdue. Then onto the Hollywood freeway straight into frantic oblivion, safety, obscurity, just another freak in the freak kingdom. We'd gone in search of the American dream. It had been a lame fuck around, a waste of time. There was no point in looking back. Fuck no, not today, thank you kindly. My heart was filled with joy. I felt like a monster reincarnation of Horatio Alger. A man on the move, and just sick enough to be totally confident. Just a devil. 